بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نیکسٹ ان آر لرننگ وی شوڈ لرن ہاؤ ٹو کیٹیگرائز رسک وین وی سی کیٹیگرائزیشن اٹس ناٹ جسٹ ون وے آف کیٹرائزنگ بیکاز اٹس اے بگ یونیورس آف رسک اینڈ آئٹمس وچ آر ریلیونٹ اینڈ سو وی کین کیٹیگرائز دیم ان ملٹیپل ویز اینڈ وین وی آر ری کلاسیفائنگ اور لوکنگ ایٹ ان اے ڈفرینٹ پرسپیکٹو سیم رسک مے بی کوڈ لک ایٹ ان اے ڈفرینٹ پیرامیٹر سو ویل بی لرننگ ہاؤ ٹو کیٹیگرائز اینڈ ہاؤ اپلائی دیم فار بیٹر لرننگ So when we have heard the word risk, we are always fearing it and considering it something negative. It's not the case. Risk are both ways. There could be negative threats. Definitely risks we are there. But there could be at the same time positive as well, which can be considered as our opportunities for us to exploit and gain out of it. So when we have negative risk, our structure or policy is to avoid them, mitigate them. transfer them depending on what's their nature and even in some cases we have to accept few risks so these are multiple ways depending on what type is and how it can be further looked at but when we have some positive risks so these are more like an opportunities for us so we can learn from it we can use them we can exploit them to make our gain so we exploit we share we enhance and acceptance at the same time these are two ways so it, we have to clear our mind risk is not always bad risk is about volatility and risks can gain a lot of things to us so and uh, another way of classifying risk is through this way total risk total risk as its name says in different form total risk will be considered in different ways here we are talking about systematic risk and unsystematic risk we will be studying them with graphs and uh, figures later but for basic understanding systematic risk relate to risk with respect to financial market so how financial market are saying or we are associated with that market goes up what impact is normally expected to a particular share unsystematic is a specific risk or unique risk of a business suppose you are buying a textile company share so anything happening exclusively to that textile is unsystematic risk anything happening to market that affect the company share that is systematic risk similarly we have financial risk as well as non financial risk so multiple ways to classify and categorize these risks then we already discussed we already talked that exchange risk is a very important risk we need to look at so we are now further dividing it to understand and learn it in a more effective way So exchange risk can be further related into translation risk economic risk and transaction risk no need to worry we'll just discuss it translation risk is suppose you have entered in a foreign currency position you have bought something and you have to pay or you have you are selling something and you are going to receive money in future so during this time your year end comes in and once as you for example you sold goods for $10000 and at the year end that 10000 is still receivable so in finance as you know in financial statement we have to report all our assets and liabilities so amount receivable in foreign currency is in dollars but we are making our accounts in rupees to hame kya karna hota hai hum us din apni amount receivable ko convert karke show karte hain financial statement اب یہ جس دن ٹرانزیکشن ہوئی ہوئی تھی اس سے اور جو بیلنس شیٹ کی ڈیٹا ہے اٹ کوڈ بی اے میجر چینج تو دیٹس ریفر ٹو ایز ٹرانسلیشن رسک دین از اکنامک رسک دس از دس از مور براڈر پیرامیٹر دس از واٹ از ہیپننگ ٹو کرنسی کے نارملی کرنسی ڈپریشیٹ ہو رہی ہے یا اپریشیٹ ہو رہی ہے اس میں فیوچر امپیکٹ کیا آ رہے ہیں ادر اکنامک پیرامیٹرس کا اس کے ساتھ کیا لنک ہے دس از مین اگر گلوبل لیول اور میجر تھنگ and effect in our long run transaction risk is the specific risk dealing in the foreign currency abhi jab humne baat ki 10000 dollar ki ab jo actual proceed aayegi usme jo rate lagega that will be utilized in the transaction risk financial non financial again falls in this particular category another way of classifying risk is with respect to attitude of the investors risk averse risk seeking 
and risk neutral. This is more related to human nature, but it can be considered from the company's perspective as well. Risk averse are those who are very cautious. They don't want to take any kind of risk. So they want minimum level of risk or if they take a risk, they want a very huge return on that. So normally people who at a senior age normally fall in this category or anyone who is very much cautious. So suppose they have an option of investing in fixed income and equity, they'll prefer to go in fixed income. That too in a very safe side, even government treasury. Risk seekers are also referred to as risk lovers. They prefer to take risk and uh, earn high return. So if they are given option of investing in bonds or stocks, they'll go for stocks because they think the potential is high. So for little premium, they will be willing to take risk. Normally, these are investors with experience at the same time organization with good funding and good background. They are willing to take higher risk to earn a higher return because we have always spoke about this higher the risk, higher the return. So these are those people. Risk neutral people are a bit indifferent with respect to if they have given option of fixed income as well as equities. If the expected return is same, so they'll be neutral to go in either of the direction. So this is the attitude of mainly the human factors that is there, but it can be applied in organization. We can say Nishad group companies are more risk lovers. They prefer to take new ventures. They prefer to take risky part. Recently, they, have, uh, they are doing textile very good. They are doing cement very good. Now they are moving into automobile. So that means they are risk lovers. For a few examples, currency we have already discussed, change in raw material cost is also a risk. Suppose you are making a production and you are committing yourself with a vendor that we will provide you this much quantity. The risk is there that the items you are going to buy for making your production, the price of those goes up. Up normally we have a profit cushion or some cushion for that, but if it's a major change, then it could even make a transaction into loss because you logged at suppose $10 rate and your expected cost was $8 profit. But when actual materialized come inflation triggered highly and you end up paying 11 rupee cost for a 10 rupee sale process. So that can be a loss structure. Change in law order situation. Law and order situation refers to a geographical boundary or a particular region. Suppose that some war threat coming in or some uh, bad news about a company or some anything which is related to economy or a larger jurisdiction that will be referred to as law. Supposedly law was positive for one industry, but recently they have increased tariff or taxes that can impact. And Lastly is the change in investor behavior. Investor behavior is how they are dealing. It is also discussed about a risk seeker and risk lover. And here it is also about what investor is willing. In Pakistan, we have seen investors sometimes flow towards real estate and sometimes they flow towards stock market. So they are moving in a pattern. So this is the risk that could impact your business or your investments. Thank you.